اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Outliers. In this session, we are going to talk about outliers. At the end of this session, you should be able to understand how to identify outliers and how to identify the level of Z-score for a response that typically indicates an outlier. Outliers. Now, one of the major concerns when analyzing data is the effect of outliers, which are unusually high or low data points and they can have an impact on the overall results as well. For example, if you were asking everyday people how many cups of coffee they consume a day and most of the responses were between 0 to 4, that would be a normal spread of responses. However, if you had one participant who responded that they consumed 17 cups of coffee a day, we would consider this particular response as an outlier when compared to the rest of responses that were between 0 to 4. This is considerably away from the standard response. Now we could assume this participant has either a caffeine problem or they have incorrectly entered their response. Either way, this response will increase the mean for the particular sample without being representative of the average coffee drinker. Now, once you add the 17 with existing data, this is going to increase the mean manifold and which will not be a true depiction of the responses of the majority of the respondents. Now, there are a number of ways that you can use to assess the outliers statistically. Now, check for descriptive statistics, check for minimum and maximum values. Now, we are going to look into each of these ways in R. Now check for histogram, graph, the data using a box plot or bar graph and visually identify the outliers. Participant responses to any variable can be transformed to a Z-score, which is the basic transformation allowing you to compare responses across cases to a standardized response, which has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So what you can do is you can transform the participant's responses to a Z-score and then get obviously highlight the outliers as well and if your z score is greater than 3.3 plus or minus it can be considered as an outlier now normally if you find outliers you can do two things uh, include them in your final analysis if you consider them not forged or non spurious or you can remove them if the outliers have occurred for false or bogus reasons now, if the outliers don't make sense in the context of the question or are extreme without any potential justification, it's always a good idea that these responses shall be removed. However, if you find the responses that make sense and are only slightly over the Z-score of 3.3, then you can keep them. Now, again, what to do with them? Now, there are several options. You can ignore them if they are not affecting your responses or your data a great deal. You can trim them. This involves removing the outliers from the data set and this is appropriate if the outliers are due to errors in the data entry measurement. Now for this, if you are doing survey based analysis, a good idea is go back to the field questionnaire in hard form or maybe if you have imported them, maybe you have made a mistake while doing something, just double check your original data. Now transform the data and this is by taking the log of the data and it can reduce the impact of outliers. So you can do mathematical transformation. Now otherwise you can do replacement of the outliers by identifying the 5th and ninth percentile score. So if there is an outlier, replace it with a 5th or 95th or 95th percentile score. Now it is very important to carefully consider the appropriateness of each approach as removing or ignoring outliers can sometimes distort the analysis and lead to incorrect conclusion. Now how do we do outliers analysis in R? Now again the first step is to load the data. 
again whenever you're loading the data obviously for now we are using csv file so read.csv the file name and it is in the same folder as i have my r script file the second argument is header is equal to true and the separator is comma just run it and now you've got data in this object you want to view it or you want to check the first few rows you can use now this is through the view command or function you will have your data available for view and the head will show you these results here these ones now since we are interested in outliers again the first thing that you can do is you can check for minimum and maximum values now to do so we need the summary function and when there is a function there are parentheses and in this case the argument is the data set that holds the data and the variable we are interested in now the data object is separated by a dollar sign from the variable name so let's run it the minimum value is one the maximum value is seven so there is no issue in the data set but let's say let me slightly change the data now that i've changed the data let's run it now look at this the minimum value is one okay now although we have changed it we haven't reloaded the data so just make sure you reload it done and now let's look at the summary now it is done maximum 16 now where is this 16 what observation or what are the observations that are causing this problem so look at this there are two observations in miss in vision one now i do not know which ones are these so i will find out but first look at this this is for a single variable box plot for single variable but if you've got more than one variable again data that is the object holding the data dollar sign then the variable name or the column name that you've got in your data file comma the second variable comma the third variable comma the fourth variable and when you run it by selecting it you will have all these four variables now these are the two observations that are outliers for the first one and which is the first one vision is the first one now where or which observations are outliers now that's very easy you are going to use the which function which parenthesis open now when vision one that is vis variable one the range is one to seven now any value over seven is an outlier so i'm just going to call which function this is my variable in the data set data s and then the value greater than seven is an outlier now which values are greater than seven now two values are greater than seven Response number one has got a value greater than seven and response number two has got a value greater than seven for vision one. Are there any values less than one? Let's have a look. No, none of the values are less than one. Now, as we mentioned earlier, you can use a standardized score to find out the outliers as well. Now to do so again, I need which observations have got a higher standardized score. Now to get standardized score in R, you need scale function. Now scale function will be applied on a column in the data set that is data S object and that has got variable vision one and the value is greater than 3.3. .3. Now again, which observations has got greater than 3.33 Z score one and two. Just remember the parentheses how they are. Now once you get this, now I know, okay, these are two observations now. What is the column number for vision one? So I can change the values. So to get the column number, again, we are going to use which column name is equal to vision one. So if this is the column name, get me the column number and the column number is 10. Now I know observation number one and this is observation number one. This is observation number two. Now, these are the two observations that are incorrect. So let's assume I've got some data at the back or I've got the questionnaire in hard form. Now, when I open the questionnaires, I found out that the observation one was not 16, but rather it was six. The observation two was not 14, but rather it was four. So data S is the object holding my data. Observation is number one. 
the column is number 10 look at the square brackets these are not parentheses and the new value or the correct value is 6 similarly data object observation number 2 column number 10 and the value is 4 now once you change the values you have to write the results back to the file and once you do this let's see what happens run now open the file and you'll see the changes now look at this 6 and 4 rather than 16 and 4 the changes have been made if you want to delete a particular row from the data again let's say data s is the object and i want to delete row number one so similarly just run it and you will be able to delete it let's run it and now it is deleted again do write the results back to the file after deletion or adding new values now the file is obviously ready the results have been added back now let's see look at this let's do this again run and there are no outliers now so this is how you can use r to assess your outliers thank you very much